Hello, fifth grade. We are still on domain nine, chemical matter. Lesson one, entering the badlands, part two. So our word work are scientific terms. Although the words are complicated, people are pe educated people often studied Greek and Latin. It meant that whatever country they came from, they could understand different scientific terms. It also avoided arguments about which modern language should be used. So the word paleontology come from, comes from three different words. Paleos, which is ancient. Soros is ancient. And lo, lo, logia is study and theory. So notice that that is the study of ancient hearing, um, history or theories. Tyrannosaurus rex come from tyrannos or tyrant, absolute ruler. Soros is lizard and rex is king. So this shows that the ty Tyrannosaurus rex is a, um, a ruler lizard king. So describing physical properties, how could we, what could we use to describe this computer? Well, we can see it's black, it has keys, letters on it, it's clear screen, and stickers are on it. This is how a scientist looks at what they're studying. They pre it's presented with factual information. It's something that we can observe, measure, and prove. We can see that from our own eyes that that is how, um, that physical properties of this computer. Now we're going to analyze a geology text. This is an example of a geology text. So it's talking about the science behind, behind tectonic plates. This text is an informational text because it is presenting factual information, has clear headings and subtitles, and it's very clear use of diagrams and information. There is a purpose for an informational text. It's to convey information clearly and coherently. So this, in it, this one was an example of an informational text. A chemical matter text. This is the text that we just read. This one is a fictional narrative text because it's a continuous prose with fictional characters, descriptive language, there's a setting, a plot, and some diagrams and things, and it doesn't really have a lot of diagrams, charts, or tables. So for this one, we're analyzing these two kinds of texts. We're analyzing an informational text to a fictional text. They both are presenting similar information, but it's how the information is presented that is different. Obviously, in the first text, it's very informational. This is the facts. This one is a little bit more of a story aspect of it. So your assessment for today is you're going to locate an object that you would consider to be matter. Remember, matter is any substance that occupies space and has mass. You're going to describe the properties of the object just as a scientist would. But don't name what the object is because we want to see if we're able to figure out what it was. And as you write, think about how you're going to organize that information. That's the end of today's lesson. We will see everyone in lesson two.